Network today. Today we have an action and drama filled lineup as we take a look at the DA March that happened yesterday. But first, let us take a look at what student accommodation and housing in Melville has in store. A lot of people has also diverted their houses into okay. student accommodation um, communes in the Brixton area that's bordering the Auckland Park area, which is not far from, from UJ um, Kingsway campus. Um, and that's also walking distance. And it's a little bit cheaper than what you will get in a complex or in the Auckland Park area or Melbourne. We are uh, renting out um, the communes when it's a house with four or five bedrooms, with two or three uh, bathrooms, then the students will share the house. And this is where the commune come, comes in. And it's also uh, more affordable. Students are students. If they want to party, if I can call it that, or make sound or noise, then that will happen. And this is what is most of the time disturbing to the, to the areas. But we do have quite a few investors buying houses in the area and then convert them into uh, smaller units. It's a bit difficult to get accommodation here because some people who got houses, they're charging too much money on the student, they're trying to make a living. But it depends on the generation. Of course, as you know, the student, they come this year and the other day, a new student, maybe after four years. So it depends, some are different, some they got money and some, so you cannot, uh, say permanently they bring business. There are some people who are mature, they come to restaurants, their family, they, they see students, and the way they behave, some of them, they make noise, and uh, some adult people who are mature, they won't come and sit in that place. I think it has given a positive energy to, uh, towards my business. I feel uh, Melville is a great community, and it's always been known as an artistic type of uh, community uh, and support base. So when the new blood coming through and uh, being UJ being so close to, uh, close to situated to Melville, it's been a great uh, positive environment to, to do business in. It adds so much value to the community and if you think about Melville, what would Melville be today if it wasn't for the students? Um, so bringing accommodation, yeah, if it's un up to standard, it's, it's a great investment to, to have here. and this is Joburg today. Do not forget to keep the conversation going on the social media platforms. Follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today and like us on Facebook at joburgtoday.tv. Yesterday, the DA marched across Johannesburg City in support of jobs and of course our cameras were there to capture all the action. Check this out. They know that they're going to provoke ANC. Whatever will come out of here, they will be standing in front of all the TV cameras around the world telling anybody that this is what the ANC is. Today we are making a very serious highlight of jobs and the ANC's failures and its manifesto's failures to address the question of jobs. This is a war about the manifesto, which, which, which party has the best manifesto uh, to move the country forward. The ANC's persistent lies about real job creation in South Africa, EPWP temporary jobs are not real jobs. The DA's policies are very, very clearly showing that we're creating permanent jobs that give people real dignity. We are not going to stop anybody. We are saying in a democratic society like ours, people mustn't abuse the principles. People mustn't abuse the policies. People mustn't abuse the rules to come and claim a little victory that they don't have. Yeah, well, I just think it's pathetic. I'm wondering what our black people are doing to themselves. Why would you want to protect corruption when you can see it in your face that this is corruption? And I'm not for either of them or the DA or the ANC. I'm just thinking, they should be in a position to be able to see between right and wrong.
this is Lewu and this is Joburg Today. With elections just around the corner, we are sure to follow and bring you the story as it unfolds. So keep watching joburgtoday.tv as we bring you the action right from our studio. Check out our special focus section on our website for more city coverage. And that's it for today's episode. We leave you with White Boy Blues by Deep Fried Man. Till next time. Back in ETV. Hey guys, welcome back to Balcony TV Johannesburg. I'm your host Julian for today and I'm hanging out with Deep Fried Man. How are you doing, Daniel? I'm good and you, Julian. Excellent. Long time no see. It has been a while. Are you keeping well? You look well. I'm always well. You look very well. Thank you. And what song are you going to play for us today? I'm going to play the White Boy Blues. The White Boy Blues on Balcony TV Johannesburg. Take it away. Yeah. Woke up this morning in a Tuscan villa. Our president still isn't Helen Zilla. I'm scared this country's turning into the next Zimbabwe, so I spend my time looking for clues. I think I've got a bad, bad case of them white South African blues. They say I'm privileged. And I guess that's true. But I pay my taxes and I don't see nothing improve. The electricity price is outrageous and it's going up by 15%. And my neighbor Yanni says all the money's just gonna go towards Mola Bola for our president. It seems our way of life is under attack. My garden is from Malawi, they sent him back. And every time my domestic worker rearranges my closet, I can't find my shoes. I'm no closer to finding a cure to these white South African blues. There's a poor selection of organic veggies at pick and pay. I'd rather go to Woolies but I'm meant to stay away. Their economic equity policy makes me so mad I could phone into 702. Well, is there any wonder that this white boy is feeling blue? <laughs> 